group. Then I let some expression in English I will let you use. Don't worry about yeah. it. I want you to relax, perfectly relax. Yeah. And yeah. What I want to do is first of all say it's October the 12th, 1978. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. And you're Eric Kolke, and you're at the residence of Shari and Morton Silverman at 966 Cassiano Road, Los Angeles, California. Mr. Kolke is here from Israel to spend a month with the Martyrs Memorial Committee, helping to... Wait a minute. Are we... Uh, I hadn't turned it on yet. Sure. No, uh, I'm going to have to go back for a minute and say this is 4.30 p.m. October the 12th, 1978. Mr. Art Kolke yes. is here at the residence of Shari and Morton Silverman, 966 Cassiano Road in Los Angeles. Mr. Kolke is here to spend a month at the Martyrs Memorial to help us set up the exhibits and be the uh, so-called scholar in residence. And, you know, I got so interested in what you had to say, I forgot to turn it on. But I have it on now. So if you want to, Mr. Kolka, you notice I checked it. Now it's on. And uh, remember, I says, tell me about your father, mother, the town that you came from. I, I came from the town setting. This is a small town and commu Jewish community in Moravia, yes. Well, how do you spell the name? P-S-E-T-I-P-T-N. Setting. Setting? Foul. The foul. Oh, F? Foul. Uh-huh. What is in English? The plane is there. Oh, the fog. Oh, oh, V, V. Uh -huh. V S T I N. Uh -huh. Setim is the is uh -huh. the district town. Yes. In Moravia. Okay, in Moravia, and my father had a a, a, a geschäft, a a mischtwaren geschäft, so a macolet, and uh, I was studying, the, and I had five. Five, uh, three sisters and uh, the two sisters and three brothers. We were five children. Yes. And uh, I was going to the school, to the Real Gymnasium in Valaske Mezirich. And later I studied the uh, commercial school. Uh, I ended with the Matura with uh, uh, Matura. Maturity and, uh, and then the, I had a special training in the school in uh, Lambert, for Lambert. It was a special school for Lambert. So what was your actual training in mm -hmm. school? No, I was in training as a, as a merchant. Uh -huh. and business, huh? Bus business. I was an expert for Lambert industry. Our family, our uncle, had a very great uh, Ziegewerk. It's a sawmill, yes, sawmill and the uh -huh. uh, factory for furniture and so on. And so uh, he was interested that I should uh, go in. But it was a family enterprise. So. Uh, now, where did your father and mother come from? Were they born uh, in this town? Yes, they were born, my father and mother were born in Moravia, also in this vicinity. But my grandfather, yes, was in Puchov. It was in the time in Hungary, yes, in the but also my father and mother was bo were born in the Austro-Hungarian uh, monarchy. And also my first uh, uh, school years were German. Uh, uh, now their names were what? Schön. Your father's name was what? My father's name was Schön. His first name? Sieg Siegbert Schön. And my, my mother's name was Malvina Schön, geboren Deutelbaum. Deutelbaum. Uh -huh. And your name at that time was Eric? Eric or Shane. Eric Shane, yes. And you changed it? After the war. Uh -huh. After the war, I changed. There was a pressure from Czechs that we should not bear German names. So I, I evade this to the hatred against Germans was very strong. And also mine. So I changed. Um, I named the name of, the, of my wife Kulka. She was born Kulka, Eli Kulka and also for my son. So we, uh, on the memory, she perished in the concentration camp, to my wife and to, to the uh, mother of my son, 
So I take the name Kunkai in 46. Uh -huh. And since, since the time I am, as I, first I signed Shen Kunkai and later I signed Kunkai. My first book was written Erich Schoen, the yes. first book. Uh -huh. yes. The first book, the, the Dead Factory, which was published in 46 and written in 45, is still with the name Erich Kunkai. Erich Schoen. Erich Schoen. Yes, in Czech. Uh -huh. in Czech. So. Now you go to school in this little town? No, I, I, no the school was in the Czech, the, the ground school, but the gymnasium, real gymnasium was in Balerskem, as Richard was about 20, about 10, uh, 15 miles away, yes, with the train, so I, uh, I uh, go to this school, I finished it with the maturity, uh, and then uh, I, I, I was going to the uh, commercial school, uh, also in the Stavarske Mesericci, and later I make a course, a special course for Lamba. So I was trained as a special Kaufmann and Lamba expert, expert for uh, woodworking industry. Now what, what, what business was your father? My father has a business, um, Lebensmittelgeschäft, and liquor erzeugung, you know, this uh, yeah. production of wine, of uh, liquors. Uh -huh. This was the production of my father, father's business. And he did well? He did well. He, you know, a middle, not so, he was not a rich man, but uh, the living as uh, five children, it was not so easy. Now, of the five children, Give me their names and who was the oldest? And the eldest was uh, I was the eldest. Then was my my sister Josephine, my sister Eliska, and my uh, my brother Otto, my brother Albert. Yes, that the five. Yeah. And the, my my um, father perished in Sachsenhausen. My mother in Auschwitz. My both sister also in Auschwitz. My brother Otto in Auschwitz and my youngest brother Albert has survived and he lives in Haifa and my son, as I told you, my son was at that time 10, 10 years old when he was deported in 42. In, uh, to, uh, yeah. uh, now what I'm going to do so you'll understand, so I want to get some of your background mm -hmm. and what it was like before the Germans came in. Yes. Uh, I yes. want some of the life oh, of, yes. of your community, how you the felt, how you got along with the Goyen, the, whether the Goyen were any problem to you. There were, in our community, there were about 70, 70 families, Jewish families in this town. I was active in this community as a young man, I was about 20, 25, so I was active and we had such an organization. Tefid uh, Laban was this uh, small Zionistic organization. We had a, 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 our community were affiliated with community in Varske Mesericci, which was much greater community than our, ours, yes. And we were also inclined to, to, to German culture, yes. There were a very strong German feelings, and so we, we had, for instance, my father, my father and mother, they spoke German. They were educated in the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. They had all the, the school education there were German. So I listened uh, to them, uh, and my first class was also German. Then later, when the Czechoslovak Republic was established in 1918, so the German schools were abolished, and so uh, my other education was Czech, yes. And nevertheless, the chairman respect. Uh, uh, I always wanted uh, for my business and for for uh, uh, to communicate with other people. Chairman, therefore I, I speak German. Did you, your father and mother speak Yiddish? Uh, but they speak very little Yiddish, very little. Uh, some words, yes. Hamor and some words, so, so then I understand Yiddish all, but they didn't, they spoke German. Now what about, the other, yeah, what about the other Jewish families in town? No, in, in this town, in Moravia, there was not, not spoken Yiddish, it was in Slovakia. 
Aha, ja. Bo tvoj grossvater, you know, he is Polish. My grossvater. My, my whose father? Your mother? Or your from mother, from my mother. Uh-huh. Also from my father. They yes. both spoke. They both spoke. Yes. And they lived in uh, in the same town. No, no, they lived in Pucho in Harenkau. It was not far, and my grossvater from my in Stražnice in Moravia, not far from my from my. For the vacations I came there and so yes. What was the biggest town in Moravia? The biggest town Brno, Brim, with the uh-huh. university and so on. Yes. And Ostrava was a very great town with the, uh, the coal mines and the steel works and so on. Uh-huh. Not far from us. And now, how did you get along with your non-Jewish friends, with the Goyim? With the Goyim, I was very acquainted with them. We, I had no problems. There was not, uh, there was not an express uh, anti-Jewish uh, feelings till the Hitler came. But one, I must tell you, my first, exp- uh, my first experience that I am Jew. I had a, a very uh, a close friend when I was 10 years, maybe 10, 12 years, which uh, was a neighbor, and was, I was going with him to the school. And once we make, we have to street this and so, and he told me, "Jude, take to Palestine. Jew, go to the Palestine." That was the first at 10 o'clock, 10, 10 years or 12 years. I was, old. and that was I struck. What it is? Yes. Jew, go to Palestine. My friend, 10, 12 years. Did you have an argument with him or he just said it? But he said it, so. For no reason, huh? But we were a little, uh, nothing. He must have from there, from heaven. Sure. And, and, and so then I began what it is. I asked my parents and so and so and so. I, that was the first consciousness that I am something else. Yes? Yes. Uh-huh. And this, from this moment. This I never forget. This was but didn't you go to Cheder? To Cheder, to Tomatora? Yeah, there was no Cheder in our world. It was, you know, that it, we were, the tendency was uh, to as, as, uh, a little to assimilation. We had, had good Hazan, yes, uh, Blau. We had a Shir, we had a synagogue and so on. But the, my father was very religious, but our generation was not so much religious. Yes, we were already uh, to uh, tendent to only if we must go. Yes, we were more forced. We integrated to to be assimilated. The, the whole trend of these Moravian and Czech Jews was more. To to um, no, sorry, no, no, as to do the assimilation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, did they keep kosher in your home? Uh, yes, my mother keep kosher. That's right. But we that did not serve it very much. We keep also Freitag in the uh, uh, and Licht and alles. As my mother had uh, uh-huh. was very very religious in this kind. Uh, but. Uh, we didn't observe it much, too much. Now, your wife lived in the same town with you? My wife lived in, in Hrozink, yes. It was not far from... from uh, now, how did you meet her? Uh, when I was working on this... Uh, when I was working in this factory of my uncle, you know, of, of, of this um, woodworking factory, it was in Novi Hrozink, it was about 10 miles from setting, it was not even... Uh, she worked also there, and she was of the uh, Jewish family, so I met her and... Uh, you got married where? We, we got married there when I was... In this town? In Seti, in the Seti. Oh, back in your town? Yes, in, but it's, it was a district town, so we married there. Uh-huh. And how old were you and she? So, I was uh, at that time, when I married, I was 20, 21, uh-huh. and wa- my wife was 24. Uh-huh. Yes. And uh, you are now working for your uncle in the uh, yes, sweat I, factory? Yes, I, I worked uh, in his factory till 30, 35, then I was going to military service for two years, yes, and check military service, and then I came back and left. What was, you say you went for two years now, you actually left your home, you went into service and you didn't come back home for two years except no, to leave? No, to leave, to leave. It was a present service, you were like duty. Every citizen from Czechoslovakia I mean, was Yeah, but what service. I meant was, 
you went into the army, another way, other than the fact that you got a furlough or a leave, you stayed in the army, or yes. did you you didn't come home every night? No, no, very nice. Forty days in the that region. It was not far oh, from my oh, uh -huh. from my I could leave, and it was not far from my home. And it was in Hranice, It was not so. Now, did so. you? Uh, what was your training in the army? No, first I was corporal, then I was chetash, yes, and I was uh, when I was going to the um, reserve, so I was. Uh, and uh, a cadet aspirant, uh, officer aspirant, yes, cadet aspirant. And uh, I was in the Jolostrans, you know, artillery, artillery. Mm -hmm. For two years? Yes. And did you have any anti-Semitism in the army? Not, not, I cannot tell you. No, no I was very uh, I have no, I, no, I didn't feel. Were there many Jewish officers? And officers not, but many, many, Many soldiers were officers were not active officers were not Jews. I I didn't know maybe one was. They were no. They were not. Uh, uh, first they were not interested to go to the army and the army was and they said that they didn't like Jews that the Jews should be officers and so on. How do you know they didn't? If you if you didn't see anti-Semitism, how did you know that? So, uh, who, the, the... No, how did you know that? If you didn't see it, mm -hmm. remember I asked you about anti-Semitism, did you see it? Did you notice it? And he says, no. Now you said they didn't want to because of the anti-Semitism. Now I ask you, how do you know? Uh, so there had to be some feeling there, yes. something, yeah. That they told, uh, first, the Jews were not interested to go to, in the army as officers. It was not uh, their uh, ambition. But they, then they told, uh, when I, I was in the office, you know, they took me in the office uh, that I, I could speak some languages and I wrote in the, this, uh, uh, they wanted me to, it's administrative. And I heard from these officers, ah, the Jews, they, they, they don't like to, to fight. They are not good uh, fighters and the officers, maybe they can be good intendants but not fighters. So I had it, yes, from mm -hmm. these uh, private speeches of this, right, of right. this, so in this way. So, so did it bother you or nothing? You no, 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 it wasn't bothering me. Because you knew you were going to be out in two years. Yes, and so, it didn't no, bother. No, so I, I was not interested in the army. So. And uh, did you have such a thing as a Zionist organization in your town? It was for a very small look, that was a Tehed Lavan, you know? Uh, and uh, they had, it was a Maccabi, a Maccabi, Maccabi yeah. uh, but, but very small. And when we had a great enterprise, so we must uh, uh, travel to Moravska Ostrava and to, to a greater. And some sometimes came somebody from Moravska Ostrava, Shaliyah, yes, yes. Shaliyah, and he instructed us. And so, so we was especially what we were going also to a Turnverein in the Czech, so-called, and so on. We didn't see any difference. We were in, the trend was to integrate ourselves in this society. This was now, the trend. At the age, when you were through with your two years, mm. what were the biggest cities that you had been to? Where? Yeah, in Czechoslovakia. Prague. Oh, by then, you now you, you've gone to Prague, huh? And no, after the war. No. Ah, look. No, this no, the first. No, no. I'm still. I still have you in, in service. This, in service. Yeah. No. When I finished the service, so I came back to this factory of my uncle. So you didn't get to any big then, town. Yes, I get. Uh, then I in thirty uh, seven. I came to set in uh, to a greater factory to film a clip to make. My uncle would not pay me enough, according to my opinion. I I told Diana. I, I, I am sure. A, Who doesn't? A, a yeah. Yeah, and, true. Right? So, and he wouldn't, so he, I was going to the concurrence. He was not satisfied, but the concurrence gave me more money. Sure. <laughs> so I was going to make a film, I, I remember, in the city, yes. And they gave me all of the participation on the line giving, you know, on the, and I, I earned much more. So. Now, in 1937, you're 26, 28. You're 26 years old. Yes. In 1937, yes. you're 26 years old, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. And then, 
Wait a minute. Now, do you have any children yet? Yes. My son. What's his name? Otto Dov. And he was born when? 33. He was born in 33. 33. Yes. Uh-huh. All right. In 32, I, I, I married. What? 30, 32, I married. Right. Yeah. 20, with 20 and I was very young. Yes. Yes. And 33, Otto was born. Yes. And uh, then in, I 30, did. in 37, we have you at this other place. What's the name of it now? City. It's the, my born. My we went back there but worked for someone else. Yes. But someone else did also a firm. All right. Life. Now, we have in 37. Mm. In 37, now remember, mm. from 33 now to 37, we have Hitler with four years. Yes. Don't we? He's already four years Thank now. You. He's already four years yes. in. Yes, in, in, he was in four years in, uh, in the activity. In activity. What do you uh, know of him? What did you read about him oh, up, up during those four years? Yes, so we read and we didn't care about it. What is, uh, it is a dictator, he's a fool and uh, nobody. It's not possible that he can tame Czechoslovakia. It's foolish and it, we didn't care. I heard about concentration camp in Dachau in 35, 36. We heard about this crystal of the 38 years, and we didn't care. We didn't care. Uh, this is, we, we have it, look, yeah. but we were not afraid. And we didn't uh, also, we had it, but we, we were not, um, pers- that it is true, we thought it is uh, over, over, um, yes. yes. Exaggerate. It's exaggerated. Exaggerated is a growing propaganda. Yeah, it happens over there, over really there, doesn't bother what, us yet. Yeah. Bother, I'm sorry. Till uh, 39, yes. All right. What, what was? When Hitler occupied Czechoslovakia. It was, I, I will never forget, this Hitler occupied Czechoslovakia. Yes. 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 Yes.
didn't fight in 48, in 68, no. they would not fight. And this was the main, main, main. Now and then, then came the occupation. The day Hitler on in uh, on the on 15th of uh, of uh, 15 of uh, March. Yes. 38. Yeah, the 39, 39, 39. 38 was only the occupation of Sudetenland, right. and we should be a small country, and we should could get guarantees like right. today to Israel. They are promising yeah. and so and and so and so. But then Slovakia was thrown out, you know, the Slovaks were going separately according to Hitler, uh, uh, supported them. And the Slovakia, the anti-Semitism was very, very strong. They made their final solution according, according to their own, on their own account, yes. It's also a document that may be exposed to uh, this, uh, this uh, exposition. And then, uh, I, when Hitler came so advanced, I, I recognized this uh, danger. So, I, uh, one of my friends came to me and told me that we should make a uh, uh, resistance movement. The Czechs are making it if I will help and so on. Yes, so I told I will help that I make type leaflets and so and so. But I was very acquainted, you know, our enterprise was on the border between Slovakia and Moravia, yes? And we had some, in the woods, we had some manipulation, you know what it is. In the woods, there were woods and the forest, for, forest and we got from the forest the wood and so, there I now knew all these uh, steps and so. and. Uh, when the train came from Prague to Setting, that uh, there was no control. But with this uh, tool, till then it was a local local barn, and there was a general control already. And I had a car from the farm where I was working, so they asked me, take these people to to the. And I I had a car, even with the German there that I am uh, that I am. Uh, authorized to go to these and these places. And I told them they can, yes, they are people who are interested to buy uh, woods and to buy lumber and so. And I, I brought them to, the, to a certain place and somebody took them over the grenze, over the border. border. And uh, one time uh, the Slovaks catched such a group no, and it flown out. And I was arrested not only I, or the people also. And I told, uh, what could I tell? No, yes, I was, but if there were the merchants from for good and so and so. But nevertheless, I was taken by the stop and I was arrested, and I was uh, uh, sentenced for first from the Czech authorities, and it was postponed, and uh, they. They had no proof against me, but uh, uh, I was in a custody till the till the begin of the creek of the war. But when the war came, yes, September first, nineteen thirty-nine, then uh, overtook all Gestapo. Where where were you held? In in Setin and Brno, Brno, Brno. Uh -huh. There was a Gestapo. It's it's uh, from Moravia. They came in the prison. In the prison, yes. How were you treated? No, uh, they treated me very, very badly in Spielberg. Maybe you heard about the Spielberg. It's a, fo a festung, uh, force, uh, uh, for fortress, fortress, a fortress, a very fortress. Yes. yes, and I can tell you that the first uh, day when I was there, this young assessment tortured me so much that in the all five years when I was in prison, I never was tortured like this four days, uh, like this first day. Only without, uh, for their own uh, sadistic uh, lust, you know, yeah. of this. Now, who did this? A German or a Czech? German, German, assessment. Young Germans, oh. assessment. Yes. Uh -huh. It is, I, I fainted four times in this. I, I will not describe this. It was horrible, horrible what they did. Really. Because you were a Jew or because you were a Czech or because Jew, you were a Czech? Jew, Jew, Czech. Oh, it's all right. Who was there? Was Jew. 
for instance, I was at the took the whole time. They they sent me to the to the wall. We must send all to the wall. Yes, so to the wall. Yeah. To the wall. And wall was white. And the, the, this young assessment came uh, four or five to you the drag you the and one he struck me the cop to, to the wall and my nose uh, was bleeding for uh, blood, you see. Yes. To drag you the leg us up. Uh, you first, do you leg it up. Leg it up. And I must leg this up and then they took me to to this and drag you the they, they took me in a cellar, you know, in the uh, cellar in uh, in Spielberg. And one day of this assessment was over the Wallstein, the steps. Yeah. steps. One, and the steps were very full with mood. It was so glitchy. Mud, yeah. Mud, the mud, the And the one assessment was open, and one assessment was in the assessment. Was in the, and he told me, Go upstairs, but not by foot. I must like uh, uh, a glitch, uh, uh, like a snake, like a snake. And when I was home, so he took a uh, iron with uh, water, with water, and he and the, uh, my, so uh, that I I slid back, slid back, and this gave me tricks in my and so I. Again. Three or four times yeah. I must go. So I, I was. Then they took me, uh, took me over to this, uh, to their, uh, well, where they had their their duty, and they give me, I'm a bit water, you know, uh, with so uh, as lere 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 I'm lere leather. No, no. Come on, what's the trick? The pails, water pails. Yes. First there were rain, then they gave water inside, yeah. and I should over. Oh. I couldn't. They, they gave the bayonets oh. on this, yes, and so I I faint. And they beat me, and they, they struck me with water, and they talk, stay out to the rescue. Then this was first. Then I, then secondly, they give me still to make this uh, layer. The, the Carry the pail. And they, I was hurt much, you know, my hair. So they took a cigarette and they make oh. me burn this... Uh, hair on your chest. Yes, on my chest. Mm. And uh, they didn't allow me to give this. Yes, oh. and that it was... It. To let go of the pail. Yes, and I think the second time. And the third time, I never be, uh, after never I uh, such then they gave me on my head uh, you know a marmalade and the marmalade is is a gross iron in such a great things you know a big big thing about Hot. five feet, uh -huh. yeah. and they sent it to my uh, they put head, it over your head uh, uh -huh. and they they make uh, like uh -huh. drum yes it was terrible oh. terrible. And then there was the last, and then I was, the, they, uh, they have gotten with water, you know, it's been yeah. snug, yeah, then they told, you drag it, the you there, come, jetzt wirst du dich waschen, du, du uh, bloody Jew, you will wash yourself. Mm. So, and that, they took me in such a wash round, and they asked, I, I was, uh, Modern, he has decided that uh, I was, uh, you know, blue and uh, all, all from this. And they, they asked me, now you will get to register yourself in your office. What will you say when they are asking you from what you have this, this... Black and blue. Uh, yes. So I, I was stirred, I couldn't, and he told me, hingefallen bist du, verstehst du? Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. You, you were fallen, you fall. You fell down. You fell. Oh, uh, repeat this. You fell down. If you will, will, they will ask you in the office, what, from what you are so dreaded, you, so from, you are so black and blue, black and, blue and so dirty. Dirty. Hingefallen. Yeah. So I think you come and uh, I, I came to this office where they registered in, it was in 39 at the registration they made. 
and they do and all and all and, and they ask me uh, where are you so dirty and so on hingefahren and they laughed yes. they, they were Germans too all Germans all uh -huh. Germans and the next thought next and then then I came to the room where the where there were many many uh, prisoners in the room and so the, they give me on the room where I should to sleep and so on. And uh, all of, many of the prisons told me that they were tortured in the in, in similar manner. And the next day we should go to the doctor, to the German doctor to be to be to be weighed and all but in the beginning it was all um, perfect they made it. And when I was staying so the naked and waiting for the so I get Bruch Kieler, I don't know how it is in German, you know, uh, Bruch, so Bruch, uh, the hernia, yes, a killer, killer, a killer, yes, yeah. but I didn't know what it is, killer, I never had a killer, so I, I had it here and this, this, uh, the, the nurse, but he was a, a prisoner, told me, you have a hernia, you have a killer, uh, tell it to the doctor, yes, I should tell it to the, to the doctor. And it was not too much, but it took me, it was, uh, it painted me. Saturday. It was from, from this yeah. when I, when I... Holding the pills, yes. that's what made you... Yes, so made, it made me. Precious. So I came to the German doctor, yes, and I, when he told me, tell it to the doctor, uh, this, uh, uh, who prepared us, this, uh, this uh, sanitator, for this, the doctor asked me, no, are you healthy and so on, from what I have, I told, I have this uh, burning, from what do you have? So I told, I will tell you in German, die Wache hat stark mit mir exerziert. Verstehen Sie, the, 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 the words uh, have very strong, uh, uh, no, exerziert mit mir. Exercise. Exercise. Oh. So I, I, I did it with a very decent oh. manner. So he told, was die Wache, rufen Sie die Wache. Said, jetzt ist, uh, uh, do you understand? What? The, the guards, uh, call for the guards. And the guards came. And he told, look, this Jew is telling that you had, uh, you had mis mistreated him and he got this, this, burn, this killer, you know, killer. So the, the, the was dear and every from them there were two give me uh, uh, kicked me and so I was lying on the on the on the uh, on the earth and they told me you are a liar tell that you have this already from your civil life we so and so are the Jews no uh, and they kicked me and they uh, stand me by uh, with his foot on, on my yeah. neck. So what could I do? Yes. I thought I had no you the do das verlieben what the liar you are. You would you would our German soldier you would you would present Lame a, a, a German soldier in So this was my life. first experience. So uh -huh. this was my first experience. And later it was operated. Uh, I get, uh, it was not uh, yet, uh, mm. uh, it was before the war, uh -huh. yes, and, and so then the, it was uh, possible to, to, to ask for operation and I, I had also a lawyer at that time, till, till 39, till, till the war was it. And you were kept in prison all the time? Uh, yes. Until the war broke up. Were you abused anymore? Abuse, abuse. Were you beat anymore? Were you hurt no. anymore? Yes, but it was not so... This was the most. Later I was here, here. they were hearing. And they were hearing from the Gestapo and so, and the officer asked, no, how was this and this. But it was much more that for his um, Unterhaltung, as for instance, once he asked me, 
I was arrested together with the, with the uh, men of my uh, second wife, of my wife in uh, on my schwägerin, yeah. And he asked me, "You should kill your your brother-in-law. You should kill him." And he gave me this. And so what I saw, it, he, it is not uh, loaded. I have to angst for my very much Yeah, she, so you must erschießen deinen Schwager. So ein Schwein bist du. Ja. Dann, dann hat er mich auf den, den, den Boden ge und hat gefragt. Das war schon, der Krieg ist schon ausgebrochen damals. Ja. Und er hat gefragt, wer wird siegen? Ja. I would go out, I would go emigrate, you know, I would emigrate in the time that there was, uh, the, and I got a mess affidavit from the United States and from, uh, from um, uh, Christ Church in New Zealand. I had the opportunities. Uh -huh. And they told me, so you would escape or you would go to this, they knew it all. all. And uh, warum gehst du nicht, uh, while you don't go to Russia, there is a, The Finkelstein wartet auf dich, yes, the Finkelstein was the name of this uh, Likino, you know, the minister of Fork. And then he asked me, as I also will never forget, the, the Gestapo man, that after the war I, I, uh, I witnessed against him, I saw him. Wer wird siegen? Who will win the war? So I told, I don't know. You don't know? And he gave me or fighting and he beat me mm -hmm. and so I was lying on the on the on the floor and he still asked Wer wird siegen? Who will win? I don't know. And then he told us Wir werden siegen und wenn wir zugrunde gehen, dann gehen die ganze Welt zugrunde. We will win and we will lose so the whole world will will perish. So this I never and this man I, I after I was uh, Deliberated in 46, so I witnessed it against these men, against these Gestapo men. No. All the time that you're in prison, no. all this time you're in yes. prison, uh, did your family get to see you? Once my, my wife get an allowance to visit me, once, only once, in, in Kaunitz of Korea, and then they took, this is a, was a, a very good period, then they took about seven or ten Jews and we make services, you know. There were communist, uh, there were a communist, uh, uh, no, they arrested all the communists. And then they, uh, they make hearing with them and so on. And they took this Juden, the Jews, to serve, uh, to give uh, food and so and so. And this, I contacted some people. They took also communists from this concentration camp, from Dachau and so and so. And we uh, we find the manner how to contact these people. And they gave us one of them gave me a recommendation to Dachau. Yes, when I came later to Dachau, so I had a recommendation to somebody. And so I always had a recommendation to the underground. My first step was this, and this helped me very much in this campaign. So you're in prison, and your wife visits you once. Once, Do once. Do you get letters or anything? Do you write yes, letters? I, you yes, receive letters? I, I receive letters, I write letters in Dachau, but not in Auschwitz. In Auschwitz, in, 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 I receive letters in Dachau, then I receive letters in Hamburg, Neuengamme. Also money I could about 20 mark go, get in Hamburg, Neuengamme. It was a working camp, a very hard work. And then I had an opportunity to to get a Schlosser, a locksmith in Hamburg, oh, Neuengamme. No, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Hmm? Uh, we have, we have a, your wife visits you. Your uh, family, other than your wife, doesn't. No, no. You don't get to visit anybody. In, no, no. In September the 1st, 1939, Germany invades Poland. Yes. Where are you that, on and, that day? And that day I was in, 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 the, in, the, in the prison. In the prison. In the prison. And you're in the prison. And then you stay there how long? I stayed there long. I stayed there till... 
Sveti till det åttom fortid. Det var tre priser som vände, you know. Det var först, det var Spielberg, Podkastani och Kovnitski, yes. Det var det, det var det Spielberg, det var det som jag tog det och det var det. Och då ville de att vi skulle arbeta. Och det var inte så so bad. Vad kind av of work? To to make, uh, for instance, to build uh, uh, barracks, to, to dig for barracks, these grounds, yes, uh -huh. foundation, uh, foundation, so to pick up and uh, from uh, in the gr um, pick up um, potatoes and so on, and the guard, yes, and then uh, at the last they they took us to this prison to serve. Uh, uh, as uh, the Bachar, you remember, so waiter to serve in the prison. Uh, what was our duty to put to the shoe, the SS man, oh, oh. And, and to give the food to the cells, and to br break break this, and to to take care polish of polish and, and clean. Yes, polish and clean and keep things. And so we knew how, and we make a contact with uh, with these people when they were hearing. They told us, and we can smuggle some. Uh, messages through the, through uh, some of these uh, guards were Czechs, Czech gendarmes were not. Did you see anybody killed up until this time? Did you see anybody killed? In Spielberg, yes. They they killed. They, they beat it to death the, the assessment in Spielberg. In Sola? Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. But, and then, then I, uh, one day I became a Schutzhaftbefehl, is uh, the sign, that I am an enemy of the Third Reich, and I am very, uh, and I cannot uh, be live. Uh, uh, till that time there were no deporta mass deportation of Jews. I was so called a political prisoner. Yes, I offended, uh, you know, this. Uh -huh. it, was a, it was a danger that I should be, uh, when I would be left on the freeze, that I should uh, disturb the, the quiet uh, development of protectorate and such. You were a troublemaker. The troublemaker, yes. This was always this. Yes. Uh -huh. And so I came to Dachau in, in, uh, in autumn. From you were sent by train. By transport, not only I, that was a, a whole group. On, on train? On train, yes. On a special way? train, it was, we were locked in a special, ever in a cell, it was a, a special, like, um, like uh, criminals, yes. Was it box cars or was it the passenger car? Box, box car. Uh huh. Yes. And, and then we came first to Vienna. In Vienna, we were in a small prison for about 14 days. Elizabeth Strauss, I remember. Then uh, for the first time I recognized some prisoners from concentration camp from Waldhausen came there and it was uh, uh, shocking. They were, uh, ma uh, they were uh, only um, skin and... and uh, Skeletons. Skeletons. It was, uh, it was a shocking uh, experience when they came to us. Uh, they were like, uh, like uh, the tire. Uh, like no tyranny, like the uh, uh, animals. Yes. Oh. They, they they came to the earth and they licked oh. a very a very of bread on something. They were hungry and so. This was now you're in Vienna. Star. In Vienna, yes. For 14 days. Yes. For these they, people are These people they, they came from Sachsenhausen, no, from Mauthausen. They, sh they should be uh, brought. To Vienna for hearings, yes, for hearings. Uh -huh. that, that this were these Jews or just anybody? No, they were not Jews. And uh, also, always, you know, this when you were a political prisoner, it, it was to some uh, extent an uh, advantage. Yes. That they would, they should not kill you. Also, as a Jew in in Auschwitz, therefore they didn't kill me. Maybe I yes, also. But they still wanted me as I was, I had a case, a fire, yes, from mm -hmm. Gestapo. And I was involved in, 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 in something. And if this affair grew up and they wanted uh, maybe a witness, so they, they wrote to this prison, to Neuengamme, to Dachau, to Auschwitz, we want the witness Kulka. And they must 
give me to so they could. They want the witness shun. Uh, should yes. shun. Yes. But yes. Kulka doesn't exist. No. Kulka after, doesn't exist until 1946. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later why I say that. Yes. And so um, they wanted to be dead. And so every who has a case, you know, always I, when I came to Auschwitz, to Auschwitz so I, I will... Well, we got to get to Dachau. Dachau. Ah, Dachau. We're in, we're in Vienna. Ah. Why did they keep you there 14 days and didn't send you right on to Dachau? When the transport was full, they, they didn't oh. send the very, very men. When the train was full and... The, they the, waited. They waited. They, 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 they got the, the people, you know, when mm -hmm. it, it was... Enough people. Enough people. Linz was uh, close to Vienna, right? Linz? Linz. What was the... Uh, Linz. Yeah. Linz, yes. It was close yeah. to yes, Vienna, yes. yeah. There is my aunt is there in Linz, yes. Mauthausen is near, 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 near Linz. Linz on the Donau. It's Mauthausen is very near. Yeah. But Vienna is 135 kilometers from Linz. It's so a from, lot of... from Linz, I mean from Vienna, then you go to Dachau. To Dachau, yes, to München. To München, we came to München to the uh, railway station, München, was a great place. Mm -hmm. I remember very good, and they came the trucks, and there was a whole train, and the trucks, the assessment, and they took us in these trucks, and then they brought us to Dachau, to the Dachau camp. Mm -hmm. And in the Dachau camp, it was very hard. First, the Jews, all Jews came to the Straf company, a penalty company, automatically. Mm -hmm. We got a Schwarzen Punkt, a black uh, point, and the Jews were isolated in the uh, in, uh, uh, no, in, in penalty company, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Penalized. No, 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 in a certain area. Though. Certain That's area. Oh. We, it was not allowed that we should uh, communicate with other yeah. prisoners in the right. and we must we had a very bad uh, work and so and so. But in Dachau, there the people were uh, were killed by cleanlessness. Can you imagine this? How mm -hmm. by clean with Zauberkeit, by cleanless to keep cleanless. It was such clean, this block, you know. In yeah, our, in our it was kept so... Oh, by cleanliness. 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 So they, cleanliness. They, you mean they had to clean. keep it so yes, clean so that by the time they got through, they died? Is that what you mean? No. The, the, to keep cleanliness yeah. was a reason to kill you. If, if it was not so oh, clean... It wasn't and, clean enough. Uh, but how they did it? Yeah. There was a, a, a block, not for many people, about 120, and it was a Tagesraum, a day, day, day raum when they, they were eating, and the night raum when we were sleeping, yes, mm -hmm. it was the time, it was um, divided. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the floor was uh, with luck, you know, with uh, glass, a glass, glass, water closet there. Mm -hmm. And there were Mirosta the Stecke, the, the uh, you know this uh, uh, knife and fork and and was uh, Mirosta, mm -hmm. and we had every hit a small spit, a small wonderful mm -hmm. spit, uh, yes, to get the spit, and we got only a soup, a, a water soup, mm -hmm. but we must use the teller, and we must use the whole. Uh, three the All three, the knife yes. and it was ten minutes and in ten minutes every must be clean and given there and then the blockadist that came and looked if somebody if he found that somebody is not if they left food no no it no isn't clean it is not clean it's dirty so strafe mm -hmm. a penalty to clean or so or not you will not get bread and so on. But this was not so, not so, and what, what was our work? We were going out and we took in our mantle, it was in winter, from one heap, the earth, to another. 
Yes, maybe it was 100, 200 meters. And we were beaten. There were assessments and even schneller, even schneller and faster and faster, yes. And the people uh, couldn't hit it out, so they were beaten to that, some of these people. And one day I decided, we'll never forget what they did. Uh, the block, you see, we, it was not allowed to go in the block with shoes. We had shoes, uh, wooden shoes, and uh, so all, all mixed. But before the block, it was such a small shelf, and in this shelf we should go the shoes, and in the block you should go only in this in socks. Yes, but the block must be clean and must be cleansed and so. On. And one and in the uh, in this bedroom you must have this uh, exact with the corners you know like on the military right. it was yeah. very very the square corners square corners and uh, no 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 stout no, uh, no dust wrinkles. no dust and one and this blockade was a communist uh, Karl Knorr the sadist and he had some students they you know the students uh, which helped him assisted him to take uh, order in his, it was prison, there were prisons. And one in the night, he came in this uh, bedroom and said, you schweine, so ein Dreck, so ein Dreck, uh, such a, such a, uh, Strafexerzier, raus, yeah, you know, the Strafexerzier, as a penalty exercise. And now it was night, it was midnight. And this, uh, they were beaten us with drunks, this uh, students, uh, and we should go out with this, uh, to, to the car, court, and the court was moved, yes, right. and, and so we couldn't get our uh, shoes, it was dark and nobody uh, could get his, uh, couldn't find them, couldn't the find them, so many of them was going only in this second, yeah. and it was neither auf knien, uh, you know, this, uh, hipfen and uh, you know this all this uh, sport train. After one quarter an hour, shoes zurück in block, return block. So we were going. Uh, what was it? Full of mood. The doctors, the dreck Jungschweine. What have you done? You must lick it up. Oh. Yes, this football. Oh. And we were beaten, yeah. and so it that there were five or six dead in this, in this. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it was in Dachau, yes, in the true cleanlessness. Cleanliness, huh? Yes, yes. Now there's a it little, you through cleanliness. there's a little stream, a little river, yes, not a wide one, that ran right through Dachau. Yes. And what was, uh, on one side was the barracks, yes, and on the other side, was uh, a place where, when we went there, a place where they used to have target practice to when shoot the, the when Jews. You there, huh? When you were there? We were there in 1965, was it? It's a museum now. Yeah, now yeah. it's cleaned up. But they had a place there where, where they used to take them and shoot them, mm. right? Yes. Target practice. Target practice. But uh, look, but I had protection. I must tell you now how I how I uh, when I was in this uh, in this uh, council college, as I told you, and as the, to make services in this in this uh, for the prisoners. Yes. So I when I was to make clean in this uh, square in this uh, other. So I uh, somebody came from Dachau. A prisoner came from Dachau, yes, as a communist. They took him out to hearing and so on. Yes. And uh, this, I will never forget it. This prisoner was a very in a very good shape. Yes, he was strong and so. On. And I was cleaning the shoes for assessment in the room where they spoke. It was a forum, and that was a room. And uh, I have had, as they asked him, uh, how it is that you are looking so well, and so on, and he told, so when you can comprise, uh, uh, write the 
der, der Reich, äh, dem Reichsgedanken, äh, so man sich richtig aufführt, if you are and fuck it, if you are it, so you can, you can make, uh, you can, uh, you can live. You use your head. Yes. You use your head, you can even work it out. No, you head and you are, uh, you are positive to this, to yeah. the German, to the Nazi question, the Nazi so you can get. And he was In other words, and work with them. Work no, with them? No, 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 And I was very stoned. And then they, they told me, look, bring this man to this and this block. And so I get key and I uh, uh, brought him to be the guard of an SS man. Mm -hmm. But all these things I... I and I, I knew how it was, the name was Androshek. I will never forget it. And then the SS man uh, told after uh, uh, this uh, offi SS officer told to this when, when he was away, look, this, this man is, a, is, a, is not like, like this other Muslim which, which told that this Tariba and also our uh, SS men are very, uh, very afraid how, how we are behave, how the behavior is of uh, prisoners. And this is a good witness. We will let, let him, and uh, now he should tell to other assessment how, uh, when a prisoner is behaving himself good, how it is uh, that he can live. He's in, uh, you understand me, it's kind of interesting, let us know if I do it sideways. Well, that's all right. Yeah. When was the first time you heard the word Musulman? Musulman? Yeah. In, the, in the camp. What is that? Was that in Dachau or later? No, 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 no. Does that mean you Muslims? No, 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 Musulman. Musulman is... Uh, Musulman is... I was also in this state, very uh, three or four times. Musulman is a man, you know, which is fully exhausted uh, and the psyche doesn't doesn't function. Uh, no, and you are you are apathetic to all, uh -huh. and you have you have either either strong to live, either strong to to make a suicide or to end your life. You, maybe you are not feeling that when you are beaten, and you are not feeling the hunger, and the, from the nose still is uh, running uh, blood. no blood, uh, excre ah. ex excretion, and so. So you are finished to, to die, but if you have somebody which help you to overcome this period, so you can be saved, mm. otherwise alone not. And therefore only if we had a kvutsa, you know kvutsa, somebody which help us. So I survived, for instance, flexibre, you know, flexibre, flexibus. I survived all, all these... Uh, you know what that is, do you? Flexifus, uh, 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 typhus. Oh, typhus. Typhus. Oh. It was only five from hundred survived. This was mm. something. Where do you think they got the word Muslim from? Where do you think it came from? <laughs> it came from Muslims, you know. Why this word? Why they were so going uh, like uh, like shapes, you know, like uh, like shadows. Yes. with this, right. with this uh, right. storing, you know, but it was, or like Mexico, there was a camp with, we called Mexico, why? The, the people, the wives and which were there, there were, uh, there were, the Germans had not uh, enough this uh, uniform for prisoners, so they got racks, uh, uh, racks, uh, red and black, and, and uh, what they could uh, give them. So it looked like Mexico, uh, one or the removed, and so, mm -hmm. so somebody give a nickname Mexico, mm -hmm. and the Muslim it belongs to when you saw an, such an Arab, uh, a poor Arab, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and when he is uh, um, taking his uh, load, 
so the and this uh, he weaves under and the he weaves and he was Now, you were talking before uh, about Muslimat. Now, who called them Muslimat? Did the Germans call them Muslimat? No, no. The, the Ger later Germans were the first to call them Muslim. Yeah, I think the assessment called them, the capos called them Muslimat. And the prisoners also. Du bist the first Muslim. It was such a nickname. It came. When I came to Dachau, so they told me, uh, look, there is Muslim, he will perish, he will not be long time. And you must take care that you should not be Muslim. How you should, you must clean the first, even if you have not much to eat. So first time, when you have the strong to keep your clean, so you will, you will, um, uh, you have a chance not to be Muslim. Then, he was Muslim, he didn't wash himself. He was full of, of uh, wood. He didn't, he was full of low, losses. The, this is the, what the people cannot understand. The, the, the functions of the, of the psycha was away. You didn't, you didn't uh, comprehend nothing, yes? You, you were, uh, you get like, a, like an animal. Yes, go there, go there, go there, go there. And what was wanted? The assessment and the capos. You know what is capos? Yes, sure. They also wanted to beat people. They have a sadistic uh, necessity to beat people. And they never beat a strong. They beat always a weak and Muslim. And when they saw that there is a blood when they saw blood after the beating so they stopped this I this I um, observed many times so if you had the luck and the, they came the blood from the nose or something else so they let you know they, 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 they were cool. they when they saw either prisoners couples or either assessment when they saw blood, when they mishandled a uh, human, when they mistreated somebody, so when they saw blood, they, they, uh, they stopped. Just me. Why do you think they stopped when they saw blood? I think there were sadistic, uh, they were sad, they, all these people were sadists. Yes. I mean all they wanted to see, if they saw the blood, then they were satisfied? No, they were satisfied, yes. This was my my feeling. Then why did and, they? And only when some they were there, then somebody resist. The Muslim never resisted. The the pretext for the for the that they beat him. I do not work. You 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 drag the Muslim, drag the Jude. You are not working. Uh, or they told him. Uh, you must uh, work faster, you must go faster. And he looked at them, so they beat him. But if somebody, re if a um, prisoner resists, there are very few, very few... Uh, Resisted. Res yes, when it was. But if it was, so they beat him to death. They shot him. They beat him to death. Right in front of everybody? They beat them in front of everybody? They yes, didn't care who was no, there? No, no, they didn't send everybody to the no. How did they beat them? They beat him first with, uh, they had a trunk, or uh, they had the, uh, the assessment had always uh, the... You cold. mean trunk, you mean a club? Club, yeah, yeah. Club. They beat him in club with, with fees, with arm, on their, their, their tuck, uh, to take this club, uh, they make it with very... Uh, he lie on the earth and they give him the... Uh, the club on this throw and uh, with both feet came on and so like this.
I mean, they put the put, they put the club on, on, the, his, on throat throat, throat. his throat and then jump on it with yes, both yes, feet to yes, break his yes, uh, his neck. His neck or 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 to choke his yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, esophagus. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And there was other, there was sport, for instance. There was also once the assessment came and he saw 10, 15 people sport machen. Yes. Also, this is in Dachau. Dachau, no, all lager. No, 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 Dachau, I want to talk ah, about. That's in Dachau also. Sport. Uh-huh. Also, and then people, no, laufen, hüpfen, so what it is. Uh, aufstehen, nieder, auf, nieder, auf, laufen. Some people could help it out, some not. And who couldn't, who, 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 and who failed, so he was beaten to death, one or two, and then the SS man was satisfied. A little let of them. Were these young men or older men? The old men, the, the SS men were young men, 18, 20, 70. This was in Dachau, in the early yeah. years, yeah? Yes, in the early years. Yes. They were young men, huh? Very young, full of, full of uh, hatred. Hatred? Full hatred, full hatred. Full hatred. Uh-huh. Full hatred. And did you ever, uh, did you ever see anybody shot in Dacha? Yes, they shot on, also the was not even block it as the shot on the block one one prisoner. Why? It was he was not not uh, dreckig and uh, uh, found he was not responsible for any for for nobody. He was not re- he was to nobody responsible about the life of his block. To nobody. But why did he shoot him? He showed him, for instance, he told that he stole bre- some bread. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, did you see anybody hung at uh, at Dachau? Yes, uh, the but it was uh, uh, publicly. We must all saw it. How did they select the people? For what? For, for hanging? Oh, this was select only maybe if somebody was. Uh, uh, trying to escape or make preparation for escape. Mm-hmm. So he was sentenced to death and it was publicly announced, yes, and then the whole, uh, whole all, all the people was surrounded in this uh, area and the devotees was in Dachau in and In Dachau you were kept separate from the Goya? Yes. Ah, the servant. In Dachau we kept separate from the Goim, and the Goim didn't work on Sunday, on Sundays, yes. So it was for us a very great um, fire attack, very great feat, that we could, you know, in Dachau they never had, there were Rollwagen, there was uh, such, uh, uh, there were no horses and always the, the prisoners were horses. We were taken in such a car and low to 10, 20, and it was very heavy, heavy burdens, and we must, uh, we must uh, pull the cars. Mm-hmm. But uh, on Sunday, there were good commandos, so-called more express. On Sunday, they were um, bringing food for, for uh, Porks, has, has here, uh, you know, uh, potatoes, and uh, also we have uh, to go there were SS canteens, and uh, what they didn't uh, eat, so we we make this the uh, service for other commanders, but uh, in the Sunday where uh, the uh, the going had uh, quiet had uh, their fest, but the Jews should work on Sunday. Yes, uh, and uh, to, and when we get this in this more express, and when, when we could go and uh, bring these potatoes to the to the uh, hey. to the schweine, yeah. the pigs, so we, if we could one or two to in our still it, still, it was the greatest luck that we can of if we could eat this this what the assessment uh, garbage. Left, garbage garbage so this was fantastic and we, we took it also for our friends which uh, had not the possibility but it was for us the greatest fire too.
Uh, did they feed the goyim the same way they fed you or not? We got the smaller portions than the goyim, smaller. But the same chazarai? Yes, yes, the same, the same, yes. Did they beat the goyim too? Yes, not so as I look. In goyim there were some control, you know. But in our block, when we were under this uh, separation, so the Bokertes, the, 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 the capo, the uh, Karl Knoll, he was a communist, a red winker, a politician. He was his no responsible. He could beat any, anybody. Was he Jewish? No, no Jewish, no Jewish. German, German communist. Uh-huh. Yeah. I see. And uh, how did you... Uh how did you know what life was with with the Goyim if you weren't next to them or you didn't mingle with them? No. How did you know what it was like? Look, it was not so. When we came for this Zonta, for this uh, first, when we came to a uh, visit uh, for health, yes, we came uh, one a month. Uh, to, to visit for health, health visit if we are... Yeah. Uh, we checked by the doctor. But by the so-called doctor. So we, we mixed with, with uh, goyims. They were goyims also. It was not separated. But during the day you didn't see them? We, we saw them, but we couldn't speak with them. We saw them. We were on the on the other plus maybe one, two words, uh, but not... We were always watched. But on Sontag, uh, on this uh, fire tag, uh, when we had to do this work for goyims, yes, so we could speak with them. Oh. So we could. Now, what did they do during the day? The same thing you did? Yes, but not in the... Uh, they do work in the, in the slow... in the very slow... For instance, they, they were very great gardens. Yes. They make uh, the gardens. They also make uh, uh, building works. But they were... We were straf commando, you know, the penalty. So they make it in a very low tempo. But we must immer schneller, immer schneller. Also when our work has no sense, so we must work under the pretext. She immer schneller, immer im Laufschritt and so on. Yes. It was to the start Jews with the work, with the work. The Jews were, the, the, the order was, you are the good blocker tester if you uh, if you, your Jews are uh, behaving, beha no, if your Jews are disappearing. Oh, yes. How much did you have had yesterday, the Old Testament? 500. How much did you have today? 500, 500, uh, 490. What? Tomorrow you will have 470. Verstanden? Yes, the SS yeah. man, the supervisor, told him. He wanted to uh, make sure that he had less and less, 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 even if he had to kill him. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Now, let me ask you, when you were in the prison in Czechoslovakia, in the Dachau, did you ever try to escape? It was not possible. From Czechoslovakia I tried, I have an idea to escape. But when I, when I, uh, when I, uh, sum it up and I knew that my wife would be arrested this I knew when somebody escaped and my mother and father that they will be uh, they make uh, if somebody escaped they arrest the family mm -hmm. so I uh, I mm -hmm. I didn't didn't uh, now you didn't get any news from uh, from home while you're in Dachau did you? yes I did news oh you did in Dachau I could one, once a month I could write and my, I could also get an answer. It was censored, yes. But How was it censored? No, did I, I, I must only write that I am, I am right, I am uh, healthy and I, how are you and what are you and so only all the, all the, you must give your letter to the the SS and they uh -huh. censor it and also when the letter came from home so it was censored. Uh -huh. And you, you, you could you could only write thirty words. Thirty words. That was limited, yes. And if you didn't uh, if you has uh, some uh, if you didn't something uh, as a strafe, as a penalty they could 
uh, block you to write for month, for two months and so on. But uh, this was not in Auschwitz, it was uh, quite... So you stayed in Dachau? I stayed in Dachau till from autumn till February 41. February 41. February of 41. And uh, then I came to Neugame, Hamburg, Neugame. Why did they send you there? Why they sent me? I, they were always, uh, they sent people to transport, yes. And uh, I had a connection in the, in the, as I told you about this Androshek, yes, in the, I remember in this uh, Kaunichki with the, the man which came and he told that how he behaved himself and so on. And, and well, so you didn't mention his name, but go ahead. Androshek, Androshek. Uh, yes. This is a communist. A communist, yes. And when I, but the commun I had an access also in this Konichki Koi, in this prison, to the, there was a hospital, a, a prison hospital, yes. And when the people were beaten and so on, they were also given in this prison hospital. And in this, this is Dacha? No, no, it's Konichki, I'm going back in this... Uh, oh, 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 you're going... Yes. Oh. And in this prison hospital there were a doctor, Horny, and he was in charge of it and so he asked me, he told me, Look, uh, you must tell me, uh, you must find out the name of the people who came and so on. And they, when, when somebody was beaten or he was ill, so he came to this uh, uh, hospital yeah, to be to be helped. And this, uh, the doctor was also a prisoner. He was a Czech doctor, prisoner. Mm -hmm. And when I mentioned the name uh, Androshek, so he told me, oh, it's a very important man, you must give him a, a leaflet. He must not go to hearing without he will be first uh, instructed of us. He was a very, very important communist uh, uh, representative. And he later gave me for him an uh, ampoule with something, and when I gave him bread, you know, we, we were giving to these people, soup and bread, uh, as service. So I told him in Czech, uh, take care, uh, there is something in the bread, but uh, there was nothing. And he, he took it and he, be, he became fever, fever. Yes, uh, it was something to make. And when he became this fever, so he, he was brought to the uh, mm -hmm. ambulance, to this, and they instructed him what to say, yes. And then this Dr. Horn told me, and I was also on the ambulance, and I asked him, how could you uh, say how it is in Dachau, and so. And they told me, you know, what I, I, I know the assessment, so I was telling to him that I have the possibility to be, but it is very, very bad, and I, I am working in the hospital in the hospital, therefore I, I, can, I am in a good, uh, as a nurse, you know, uh -huh. he was working in Dachau as a nurse in the hospital, therefore he had um, enough food, yes. Why was he sent from Dachau back to this camp? To the camp. To your hospital, yeah. Yes, it was so, the communists, when they were there, so they were, they had hearing, and the Gestapo would now all this net of the communists, how they were involved. And these communists, they knew that it is better to get 10 years prison, uh, prison, a normal prison from the trial, than to be half a year in a uh, concentration camp. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they gave the, the slogan, you should uh, tell, uh, involve as more as you can people who are in the camps. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand this? Yes, yes. And so the, also the, the Androsche came, this uh, involved him, uh, the Androsche is in Dachau and he was uh, involved in our organization and so on. And when he came, as he was uh, so good, uh, the assessment, uh, the, 
he was he made a very good impression but to the assessment so they uh, he was ill he was ill so they took him to uh, to this uh, uh, hospital uh, to this prison and he get, got the instruction how to what is in Dachau he told and the instruction what he should uh, tell um, at the hearings and although he told me when I get he told me I asked him I uh, in that time I already got this uh, uh, should have fail to Dachau so I asked him, is there any possibility to survive or what I could have and what, uh, how I should behave? And he told me, look, when you can Dachau, go to the Krankenbau, to the hospital, and there is a communist uh, Kopshiva, a, a friend of mine, and tell him uh, what, uh, what is here and so on, and then uh, try to, to reach him. And when I... Uh, when we were going to this um, hospital uh, for, for the first time to check up, so the blockade uh, Knoll, he was also a communist, yes? And so I asked him, I asked him, uh, is here uh, uh, Kopshiva, uh, uh, the prison Kopshiva? And he looked at me and asked me, you are a KP man, you are a communist member? I said, um, yes. So, uh, and then he uh, introduced me to this Kopshiva. And the Kopshiva, he was a main nurse in this, in this uh, 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 prison hospital, and he was in the communist underground, as a prisoner, yes. So he, I told him all, and then came this uh, tester, and he told, he told him, I was not a communist, but I told him, and I uh, that is like, the Junge is in Ordnung, you understand, this lad is, is okay. And so the, the blocker, the um, Knoll, uh, let me, uh, didn't touch me, didn't touch me. The who? Didn't touch, he didn't beat no, me. The who? Uh, the Knoll, Knoll, the blocker to stay, oh. as I told you, the blocker to stay of our block. Mm -hmm. And he was connected with this Kopshiva, and I told him the second time I met Kopshiva, and I told him, how can you uh, be connected with such a man? He is a murderer, and so on. He told, look, he told me, but he has a connection, and he can, we, he, we cannot, uh, he, we can do nothing, and we must accept it how he is, as he is a very important man in the underground uh, organization. And I told, I saw that this, uh, also if he's somebody protected, then he became, uh, you know, he was uh, ill maybe, once he became a rapper, you know what is a rapper, he became, a, uh, he became angry and he beat to that somebody on the block for, for no reason. So I told him to Kopshiva and Kopshiva told me, look, when there, there will be a transport to Noe Gamme. Uh, you should go away. Murdered it, yeah? it was when there was a transport, so they asked, who will go on a transport in the new camp? And yes, they, it was possible to go. Why did they want to send anyone from Dachau up there? Look, there were, in Dachau were very many people. Right. And they want to make a new camp, uh, Hamburg Neuengamme. So they wanted that this new camp should be built up. So they wanted to send them some people who had some experience in the camp life. So they sent, uh, I think, about 500 prisoners and sent them to, to a camp which was new, not overcrowded. Were they mostly Jews? There were Jews and non-Jews. I think non-Jews was not more, I think there were 50 Jews. And you volunteered? Yeah, I, yes, I volunteered. Uh -huh. Yeah, I volunteered. And uh, what were you going to do there? What were you going to do in the new camp? Ah, in the new camp? No, it was a very a great Sklamani, I know it was a Teuschung when I came there in this camp because I was very, it was uh, such a schrecklich, uh, you know, such a um, heavy work. We were, you know, Elbe, you may be, you know what is Elbe. So we must, our work was to go 
Det är det här som som tre or four uh, when the delta is of the river, you know, and one of these uh, delta was uh, full of mud, mm-hmm. and we shoot. Um, there were a commando of two thousand prisoners, and we uh, get uh, we must go to this uh, mood and to 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 bring this mood on this uh, boats yes on the boats and from the boats on the on the ships on the uh, ufer no on the Short, on the shore, yes. And uh, it was a uh, very like uh, slaves, like Pharaoh in in Pharaoh's time. The 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 nine gam is up near Hamburg. Near Hamburg, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And these were a very 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 uh, very exhausting exhausting work. And my brother allow you know also. The, perished there, he couldn't, he couldn't. Uh, now, where did you first see your brother-in-law? No, he was arrested to the, 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 in, uh, in Czechoslovakia, he was arrested uh, one year after me. The, the first time you see him is in, uh, in, in Neuengamme? No, no, in, in, he came after me, he was arrested in four, in, in Dachau. Well, that's the first time you saw him was in Dachau. Yes, yes. And he came then with me in Hamburg Rangam. Uh-huh. And he couldn't help out this this very, very... Uh, he became a Blutvergiftung, you know, from this... Uh, uh, from this... We couldn't keep ourselves clean. It was very hard. We were sleeping in the... In the Wrecks uh, which were full of mood, and we get uh, in three three uh, months we get a new shirt, and so we were full of louses, and so it was very very uh, hard. And then I got I had luck. I got also after he died. So he died. He wasn't killed. No, he died in prison. In, uh, in, in how was he your brother-in-law? Your wife's. Uh my wife, my of my, he was brother of my first wife. Uh huh. He was your your yes. your wife's brother. Yes, my wife's brother. And her name was what? Kulka. Her first name? Milan. 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 Milan Kulka. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So that's uh, the name which I took of. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. I, how long did he last at uh, Noyan Gamma? Uh, for me? No, oh, yeah. He was one list, uh, I think one, uh, on September, September 41, one, uh, September 41 he died. Uh-huh. And so then it was much colder in Hamburg, wasn't it? Yes, it was more, not also only that cold, but there were many rains. Yeah. You know, when we were working, so it rained, and we must work also when it rained. But in, in, in 50 minutes it came sunshine, so sometimes it uh, trocknet out, and then it was still raining. It was very, the weather was very uh, killing you, yes, the weather was, and they give us no, some, sometimes we come to the block and we, must, we were sleeping in this, in the, uh, in, we had not in order mm, to sleep uh, in order. Uh, well, no, no, actually, we didn't have a chance. Where did you? What kind of quarters did you have then? What? The barracks were were mm, much more uh, worse than in Dachau. And first, we have no beds, and we are there sleeping only on the on the floor with a little straw. It was uh, an Aufbaulager, you know, it was a new camp, full new camp. And uh, the work of the couples by the work, they killed people, and uh, uh, but they wanted work, but we could still, we could ride to home and we could got 20 marks uh, a day and we could uh, buy something in the can- canteen, some food. Uh, but um, 
De werk was een, 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 voor die hardwerk die bekeken be, be maar maar breed. Daar was een schwer arbeid dat zulage is en hun werken. Maar mijn eerste. Maar daar werd ook zo'n andere commando's, want die is juist waar God dit werkt moest. Maar mijn eerste. When you were in the prison in Czechoslovakia and people died, where, what did they do with them? In Czechoslovakia, did they take them and bury them in the prison yard or what? What did they do with the bodies? I can't remember from Spielberg they took the people, but they did with the people I don't remember. I think they were, they did them the people before the war break out. It was all. Normal. Uh, they became a letter of this that, that, that he died and so and that, and uh, they were also um, some um, when they could uh, go for operation to the uh, to the hospital and so till the war it was very, it was the behavior from the authorities was very uh, nearly normal only the sadistic. Uh, outbreaks of this assessment that nobody controlled uh -huh. yes and what did they do with the bodies in uh, the in, Dachau? in the Dachau they burned them there was a crematorium yeah I know I saw the one yeah there. they could burn that was the first crematory was it Dachau they all in every camp were crematorium yeah. in every camp were crematorium also in Auschwitz were crematorium but yeah but that was different time No, uh, first time there was uh, only the one crematorium, the small, which exists yeah. now. You were in the house, in the Auschwitz. Yeah. Yeah. So you saw this first crematorium. But the, in this first crematorium, they also make um, this... Uh, And in Nine Gamma, they was uh, cremated crem too. Yes, cremated too. Uh -huh. Look, uh, I they weren't buried, but they were cremated. Cremated, always cremated. Uh -huh. yes. And then uh, Nine Gamma, you were there how long? In Neuengamme, then I got, I was there till October in 42. When were you a Schlossmacher? Oh, did I just to tell you? Oh, that's okay. not yet, huh? You're not yet. Not yet. Not yet. In Neu Neuengamme, I became a great career, I think. <laughs> you became a what? I make a career, you know, a career, and a career. A courier? Yes. <laughs> so you carry messages from one to another? No, no, no. Oh, I, I became a prominent uh, prisoner, you know. Oh. Yes. Look, uh, one day I became, I keep... An important person? No, important person. No, but uh, a little. No, how it was. I became, I, I keep it out, look, but how we could keep this very hard work in uh, in uh, in uh, Hamburg Neuengamme. We were four friends, which all live till now. And there you have, you must, there were two kinds of work. Either you must, with the ship took this, this mood and to give it to, to this, uh, 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 to this uh, first floor and second floor, that this boat has third floors, like slaves in... in and then we put this on the shores, you know. And from the shores, this all... Uh, in jail? Moved. Shores. Shores. On the, on the Elbe, Elbe Canal, you know. Oh. And, and it was very, very huge heaps. And they uh, were... Uh, Garten, Gärtner, this garden, yes. and, yes. and we make, uh, it was a very fruitful uh, earth, you know, and we, we should have to make, to give it to the gardens of this, uh, of this uh, Gärtners, to make that the, that the earth is much, much more fine, fine yes, so. but this was a, a yeah, a, a, a Satanic, a satanic um, uh, equipment. I must, uh, I must, I want. Can you get a pencil and paper? I have, I have. Look. No, no, no. I'll, here, she'll give you a piece of paper. Yes, I will, I will. Uh, you yeah, know, otherwise, you will not understand. It. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, it's important. Fun. Here, right up here. So it'll be. Look. <coughs> 
hier was de Elbe kanaal voor ons. Ja. Full of moed, yes. Maar ja. En, en hier was die uh, uh, no, schoenie. Piles of earth. No, no this. Fertilizer. Uh, no. Boats. Boats. And we must take first to in the in the boats this uh, slum, you know. Uh -huh. And then from the boats, uh, we, it took it was taken here on the on the shore. Uh -huh. And on the shore there was a huge heap of of mud, yes. Uh -huh. It was about two, three hundred, uh, two thousand people, you can imagine this oh. yeah. And here were these fields of these gardeners. gardeners. So and here was make such an ellipse uh, dra, an uh, ellipse uh, uh, about 30 centim from from planks, you know planks? Yes. About from 30 centimeter uh, wide planks. Uh -huh. Yes. And all this, uh, and here were standing uh, prisoners with showers, and here were about two or three hundred people with uh, trucks, with uh, cars, no. carts, yeah. with carts. And every, and it was in Laufschritt, you, you, it was not that to stop. Uh -huh. When you come here, so de here, here, there were always these with ships, these uh, prisoners, and every under the uh, warding of assessment or capos, and every of this was uh, forced to give you full car, you know. Uh huh. Yes. Fill up your cart. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And you yeah, and here were every man and this. and so we we came with this car here, and here we should keep the car over. Yes. Yes. Dump it. Yeah. Dump it. And with the uh, with the uh, lere, uh, lere uh, plane car with the, to go further. Yes. So in all it was make a, in a move like a, uh, a constant circle. Constant circle like. Pick it up and dump yes. it. Pick and it up and dump, dump it. And nobody uh, does stop. Couldn't stop. And and here was capo immer schneller, immer schneller, immer schneller. The only break were when somebody was exhausted and couldn't. When he was exhausted and couldn't, so the whole circle stopped. And then now the capo came and the Wilsnicht and they beat at him. Yes, this man who lapsed, elapsed. And either he could go further or he died. And this was the only break. So I gave you rest. Rest. Someone Five. else's death gave you rest. Every death was rest, yes. So how big is circle? How many the, meters? The circle was two, it was a half a kilometer, about 500 meters. Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. And there was still running, yes, still running. And the only step when was... When did you start? In the morning at, at uh, 8 o'clock. That was a break at 12. Yes, one hour and ten till five or half past six. What if you had to go to the bathroom? Bathroom? Yes. Then what if you had to, to urinate? Toilet. Ah, oh, toilet. Yeah. So you must ask this capo, I must go for toilet and get because about only a few minutes and then back. Oh, they would let you go. Huh? Yes, yes. About but only uh, and the guard, yes, and there was special uh, somebody who was on the toilet, a prison, and the, you could not be there five, ten minutes and so But how we keep, uh, we were four. Uh, you, it was destined who, who has this ship with the showers, no, he could keep it out, but with this it was not possible. And we were four friends, and we make, um, we changed it. If we couldn't, so he came and took the car, and I took the show, and so we we managed Switching. it to swi we switched is it it, it, it this jobs, huh? this jobs yes, hmm. and it was a very 
for instance, when we were going from from uh, the campus here, it was about one hour to walk to this place, yes. And we were going in five rows. And even if somebody would uh, give his water, it was not allowed. It so uh, uh, to go over. He must do it in 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 the. Uh, in walking, in walking. Otherwise, and if somebody get out of there, of the, it was shot. It was like, a, and, uh, and uh, many people uh, choose to be shot. But it was an attempt to escape. The, the guards was there, and if he uh, came from, or if he couldn't go, and he be 50 meters after the last uh, last stop, so he was also shot. There were every day about 40, 50 people, which were, were uh, which we, we brought in the camp uh, dead on the track. You had to bring them back. Back every day. Every day. Every had day. to bring them back. You yes. Had to them. Sure. Yes. And then they were brought back, and then they uh, cremated. 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 And these were all Jews. No, no, no. They were mixed. Mixed. They were mixed. They were mixed. No, there were never any women. The only men. Uh, there, no. We were not much of they were there about 80 Jews in the whole camp. Uh-huh. Then, nine gamma. No. Okay. He had the binoculars. The a couple. The, the Jew, couple. A German couple. German couple. The, the, the binoculars watch. No, couple. Couple. K-A-P-L. He was a, of it. He was a criminal with a yeah. with a, uh, red, no, red, with, um, with, with the uh, markings. I have the with, markings. Uh, I'll show you. With uh, green winkle. Yeah. And he always cried, Capo! He's very hapless. When the Capo didn't, so he told him, I will take you out your, your, uh, the, the, the arm bin, then you will go to, you will go to work. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you make it. If the Capo was not strong enough, so he could to took keep it. keep everybody it. working. Yes, no, and the Capo, he took him away, this, this, uh, strike, strike, yeah, and, 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 and he was in it. Yeah. And he was in it. So it was a, a, a toyfully sheriff, which you cannot imagine. Toyful is devil. De 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 devilish, a devilish invention. It was a devilish invention. It is 7.25, October the 15th, 1978. We're at 966 Cassiano Road, and I'm Morton Silverman. I'm speaking to Mr. Kolka. Now, if you remember, Mr. Kolka, we were still in Neuengamme. Yes. Now, there was one thing that when we, when you left, in my mind, I was trying to put together. You were up at the Elbe, and you were talking about they were taking out the mud. Yes. And uh, was that so they could dredge the uh, delta, or just to have you work? No, they could dredge the delta, and they they would have the the uh, delta clean for the brick uh, factory. They make the brick factory there, build a grade, and they want the ditch to be clean, and the brick should be brought to the for, by the water to delta. It was the work. And by this, the mud also we brought to the shores, right. and we make this, uh, um, these fields of these gardeners uh, more fut uh, more fertile. Uh, fertile. fertile. Uh -huh. so there were two things, this and this. Uh -huh. That was the purpose of it. Then, when you were talking this afternoon over at uh, Mr. Harvey's home, you took it now from there. You were then called to go work in another place there at Nine Gamma. Remember you're talking about later, the, later. Yeah. Do you want to uh, now yes, but, take it from there? Go ahead. But it was not at once. It was, look, as I told you, my, bro uh, my brother my brother-in-law died. But he was a, a little weaker and he, he, he couldn't mentally also uh, keep it such hard uh, life. But later I became uh, here um, blood vergiftung uh, from the mood, you know. Yeah. From blood poisoning. Blood poisoning from this mood and we, we also slept in this uh, dreckige uh, clothes. clothes 
So I got root for this thing, and my my knee means the wall was wrong. And it was very very dangerous. But I had some uh, some connection with the hospital, so I came there, and uh, they get me an operation. And they get me, and I I they, it cured. Yes. Yeah. This. Now the question is going to be asked. Why did they bother curing you and going to an operation and everything else? Why didn't they just get rid of you? They, in knowing Gabe, they didn't kill people. They wanted to work them. If somebody has uh, couldn't and was not strong and he died, he died. But if he had a strong will to live, so they, uh, the, if there was a, sh a chance that this man, if he would be um, uh, secured, uh, the, uh, he can work. So they, you can, you could be there 14 days in the hospital, and if there was chance that in 14 days, approximately, you will be ready for work, so they let you work. It was not an extermination camp. It was a concentration working camp. They were interested to work. If you die, die. Uh, now your brother-in-law, he died there. He died. He was. He got a. Uh, you know what is this? Dysentery. 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 It's right. A very strike. Right. Very strong dysentery. Yes. Uh huh. And we give him also. It was uh, the the things are uh, the the gederme are very thin, and he get um, bread. Schwarz, the backen is broad, Schwarz, to to stop it, mm -hmm. and his uh, um, thin gelem were cut, and, and maybe if he would have a much stronger will, that he would survive. The intestines. Yes. The intestines. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then. I uh, I had some connections in this. Uh, when he died, did they bury him? What did they do yes. with him? They bury him in the crematorium. Oh, or the, or there was a crematorium. They, they cremated him. Cremated him, and uh, his wife my, uh, got the telegram which she has that he died and on the on uh, on the heart heart attack. Uh -huh. this, this she got yes, and she got also from him. It was possible the urn with the ashes. Was she really gone? It, 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 was, it, it was possible. Uh, she paid some money and so on, and she got the urn. If the ashes was his or not, it's another question. Right. But he got it, yes. Mm -hmm. And he is buried in Satin in the in the um, town where the Jewish cemetery for this district is. Then myself I had this, I was, it was a blood poison, blood poison, but it was not so dangerous, but if it would be not cured, so it, it would be, and the, the, the nurse, you know, you can a little corrupt him, this nurse, and I had some, I got from home some money, so I gave him 10, 10 marks, it was much money, and he was a good fellow also, and he was a little in the underground. As we had a recommendation already from from the Dachau, we had this old old uh, heftinge or the prisoners. So I was cured. But now what happened? When somebody was cured and he was very weak and he couldn't work, he got Schonungsarbeit. He was uh, uh, a light work that he couldn't go to the Elbe when he was uh, weak and so on. So. Every has right to got a shonuk's arbeid. It is a work to spare, to to shoinen. Nicht. Uh, do you understand what I yes, mean? Yes, yes, not heavy work. Not heavy work. But for Jews, the not heavy work was to sit in the, uh, on the courtyard and to to break uh, uh, stones with a hammer. Yes, uh -huh. you could sit, but you had to. Break the stone. Stones. That was light work. That's light work. But you should do it also when it was raining. Yes. Sure. But for not non Jews there was another another good word. Strumpfstopfen. The Strumpfstopfen. There was a huge 
Strumpfstopferei, you know, to repair socks for assessment. Uh -huh. At a huge store where they, they this this uh, Schonungs prisoners. Yes, the so, light workers. Yes. And so as I na my name was schön, you know. Yeah. So they give the settle the the the, the, the uh, beef leaflet to the Schreibstube Erich Schön Schonung. He looks at the German Erich Schön and he give me to this Strumpfstopferei. Uh -huh. Not to not to go out and do stones, but to go yes. in there. And I came to the Strumpfstopferei with my jacket where there was a Jewish uh, star. star and the forearbeiter was a Czech, you know, a landsman from near. A Jew? Uh, no. A God. No, a God. Yeah. A good man. I know him very good. The Czechs were always together. If there were Jews, no Jews, there were no difference in them. And he took, his name was Losenitsky. Never forget. And he looked upon me and he looked, but uh, I, I cannot, you are a Jew, I cannot. But then he thought, he saw this uh, order, leaflet order. We thought, you have the order, look, give of the jacket and sit here. So nobody was, you have, so I don't know what this. And so, let me sit there, without the jacket, you know, nobody saw this, uh, my, my, and or from this uh, pan pants. There were also, so this I gave weight, it was not so, but the main thing was the... You had a star in the pants too? Pants too, yes. A pen here? Where? On the, on the, on the... On, on, on here. Oh, the thigh. On the thigh. On the right side or... On the right side. On the right side. On the right side. Only on one side. And on the left side on this... On left the side on the breast and on the right, right side on the trousers. Is your dude? Is a bit no. You did it? What? If you did it, if you know, you knew it, this, this thing. If no. you knew it, this, this no, 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 not the, not the trousers. The, no trousers, always, always. No, I say that I didn't know. Ah, the trousers. That I didn't know. So, and I was there. And so, I became a Strumpfstopfer. You know, I don't know in English how to say, say it. And then I became a Kunststrumpfstopfer. I do the work very good. I was a specialist. You know. on, on darning socks and you know, socks uh, very good so that you couldn't question if it is uh, uh, uh -huh. kurz, kurz. I was a Kunststrumpfer. A Kunstler. And we get some more food and as I was sitting and they came in control, you know, one can control, so it's all the assessment came and this is very glad that they get their uh, socks and they give also the socks of their wives and of their relatives and so, look, mm -hmm. the only for assessment was this Trumpfstofferei, not for prisoners, yes. But one day, I think it was two or three months, come a great visit, Lagerführer, mm -hmm. so we must put all jackets and all stramstein. You must be nice and nice neat and, warm. And, and, and stand yeah. like and with attention. Yeah, yeah. Attention and melden, yeah. uh -huh. Hefling, numero so and so. Uh, oh, they call out, oh, you had to call out your number? Yes. Or they called your number? No, I have to call to Your number. name and number or just a no, number? Just the number. Prisoner one, prisoner two, three, one, four, five. No, name, never name, only. Prisoner. But the prisoner and number. And number. Uh -huh. But he took. You are a Jew. You could see. Jew. What is this? And he, he called for this foreign writer, this Losenitsky. For he told, look, I, I get it. And he was very weak. And the uh, Skunstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofstrofst
Theresienstadt, the Holocaust film. So the same thing. And I can tell you that the assessment took me and they gave me and they, and they, call, they ordered me I should count the strokes. And I remember till 15 I could count and then the blood, the, the, I get the blood pressure in my, my heart yeah. and I, I didn't, uh, I couldn't cry, nothing, I didn't feel nothing. After 15 about strength, maybe they gave me more or so. So then I came to the block and uh, my friends uh, gave me uh, uh, three days in uh, cold water. I, I, I uh, and the, from this uh, hospital, the, this nurse gave me some salve and so I came over. It was not somewhere fit, 25 strokes, it was not. But they were two assessments and every from another side. This one and this, as exactly as you saw it in this, in this film, this was what. But then, but I was strong. I was, I, I was already uh, in a good uh, uh, condition, in a good health. So then the Elbe, uh, then they began to 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 uh, build bunkers. That, you know, bunkers for there were raids, uh, air raids, many mm -hmm. times. And for air raids bunker, they wanted. Uh, Zimmerloid, uh, you know, uh, carpenters, uh -huh. and uh, carpenters, I, I knew, I was from Holz, if I from yes. Lambert, so I, carpenter, gelernt carpenter, a gelernt a carpenter, sure, sure. Uh, kannst du Holz, ja, was, gelernt a carpenter, genommen zum Kommando, war ich gelernt a carpenter, und hab gearbeitet mit die Säge und am Zerschnitten und das und jenes und die Bunker Zement getragen, aber nicht Elbe schon. Das war, das war leichte Arbeit. But to the Elbe there came many Ukrainians and other people, the, 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 uh, the camp was growing, about 20,000 people, so we old uh, prisoners, even if we were Jews, so it was, uh, we had it a lighter, you see, every... Now at this time you said there were, what, 78 Jews, 72 Jews? Jews only, 72 Jews. From 20,000 people. 18, 20, yes. The uh -huh. Jews, was, this was only... Only uh, men. And we were together on on the block with, um, you know, this uh, Himmelfahrt's commander, uh, the Bib Jehovah, Zeugen Jehovah, um, Jehovah Witnesses, which Jehovah are, Witnesses. Yes, this were there. They had violet wrinkles, violet, you know, uh -huh. Jehovah Witnesses. And they were like Jews. They were Sabbat uh, praying and so on. Uh -huh. And we were very, and they were together with Jew, with us, and yeah, on the block. The sub, the uh, Jehovah Witnesses and Jews. Uh -huh. And they were very, they only for that they opposed to to uh, to go to the military to or they opposed to to fight with the weapons so therefore they were in the camp they were their own where they, did they come from what country from G germany they were, they were from jews. germany They're not jews not i know jehovah witnesses from germany from germany and uh -huh. they refused to to take the weapons uh, they no the, weapons every month if they would tell i am are willing to go to military, he was free, the ones. Yes. Uh -huh. And this is also very interesting. They were very clean, these people. And they were very, uh, very good educated, uh, very strong, fantastic strong in their, in their conviction. So I remember this thing. One day, they, they had a special table in the room where they were eating and so on. They prayed, yes, and this all this stuff. And one day, a, a, a member of of them of this witness was going through the camp, and the Lagerführer, she, uh, she from the I don't remember the name, Lagerführer, uh -huh. an officer, Untersturmführer, Rittgemeier, Rittgemeier, I remember was going and you should always if you 
meet an assessment, so you should must go the mitzvah up. Yes, stand up, stand at attention. And he doesn't do it. And the Littkemeyer asked him, why didn't you? I give my cap only before God, and not for Menorah. And so he was hanged, this man. He was hanged. And then, uh, before all this, uh, uh, 15,000, how many people, when there was the roll call, so it was told that he was, uh, uh, he doesn't fulfill order, he, ref- he was in, uh, he, he did rebellion. He was called out more as rebellion, you know. Yes. He refused and so on. And in the evening, this, this uh, Jehovah, so Jehovah uh, witnesses, they proclaimed him a saint. He was a saint. They proclaimed this as, that he is a saint. This is also interesting discussion. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time I hear that. No, so it is. And then late, then I, it's not the last. Then I got Typhus, as I told you, later. I got this typhus. There were many, it was a great, a huge epidemic of typhus in camp. And uh, it spread, the, also it was a danger for this assessment. And then I got um, a fever, high fever. And I was lying, every man knew that if you come to this block, that you are finished. So I also was lying uh, on the block uh, some days before it was no, no uh, possibility to keep me late. And I remember very good uh, when it was decided that I should, must be transferred to this typhus block, one of these Jehovah Witnesses came to me and told me, look, uh, 